We're coming to the end of the run with the procedurals. We don't cover them much in this class um, because they don't export out to games usually. But um, I'm going to go over here to my material editor and open up my map section and under diffuse color. This time I'm going to pick noise. And you can see noise is this cloudy one that has black and white mixed in it. Now, in a lot of these procedural textures, you'll see these empty slots next to these colors. What that means, I'm going to drag this over and um, click my view map and viewport. What it means is that I can put other procedurals or bitmaps in these slots. I'm going to knock the size down on this so it's a little more manageable. Let me render this and see what we've got little bit more manageable. There we go. And I'm going to dump the threshold down a bit and the low end up. What this is is called clamping and what it's doing is it's clamping together the white and the black a little bit more so that we don't have as much blurriness in between the two. Now where it's white and black I'm going to hit this none and you'll see that it jumps out into an area we're very familiar with. I can click bitmap for this one. Go get myself a bitmap. And we're week six. I'm just going to grab one of these uh, textures here. How about this one? That's an easy one to see. And now if I render it, you'll see that that texture that I just put in there is now blending into where that noise is. It'll be more obvious here with the next one. I'm going to go up a step. So I'm back here with my noise. And in this particular slot, I'm going to add a procedural texture and blend these together. And I don't know which procedural I want. I'm going to go with... Um, uh, let's do another noise procedural. And you can see that now I'm in this map once again with another noise procedural. I'm going to make these slightly warmer in color. There we go. And this one's going to be a little bit, there we go. So we've got this tan coloring going. And I'm going to make the size really small in this because I want it to be able to see it. And now if I render this, you'll see that I've created a map that has a tan and light tan noise texture along with a metal bitmap mixed together that match that noise procedural. So if I go up the stack one, here's my bitmap. Here's my noise that I just made, and they're mixed together as the noise mixed together. So if I change this to fractal, you'll see that even though the splotchiness is changing, it's actually two textures mixed together. And if I jump all the way up here to the top, and I go under, uh, actually i got to go back down, scratch that, go back down to noise, I'm going to take, I didn't want to hit that. I'm going to take this particular bitmap, drag it out here. I'm going to make this an instance. That's my bitmap that was in that slot. Now I'm going to go up to the top over here. And I'm going to drag this bitmap down to my bump channel. I'm going to make this an instance, although it wouldn't really matter for what I'm doing here. I'm going to bump the bump amount up, and my bump will match a little bumpier. It will match my uh, bitmap. And now I'll make this shiny so that it looks kind of like metal. And you can see, I don't like that shininess, that's for sure. There we go. A little bit better. And you can see that we've got bump mixed in here along with that, that uh, noise channel. I'm going to hop over to a new shader and I'm going to deal with this other um, sphere that I've got here. I'll cover these up so they don't confuse you. And in this new shader, I'm going to go to my diffuse. And this time I'm going to pick um, Pearl and Marble. This one. There we go. Under each of my 
colors, I have a map channel. So under each of these, I'm going to add a procedural. I'll drag this over. Again, we can see the... Well, that's the procedural. That's the noise. There we go. That's the um, mar marble texture. I'm going to knock the size down a little bit here, just so we can get something to work with. And if I render this, you'll see that... Well, maybe you won't. If I've got noise here... Okay, I put noise in this channel. I'm going to make this noise um, a little bit brighter so you can actually see it to start with. And I need to make the size smaller because right now you can't tell it's there. Okay, now you can see the noise is blended into this big green area here. Let me make it smaller and you'll be able to see it a little bit better. There you go. You see the splotchiness of the noise mixed in there? And I'm going to make this noise, now that you can see it, a little bit more metal colored. There we go. And I'm going to go back up one level. In my other channel, I'm going to put splat. Well, I'll put stucco. How about that one? Now I'll go splat. I want something that's easier for you to see. And I could keep going down in these channels over and over and over if I wanted to. After a while, it gets to be a little bit too much. Let's see what we've got here. You can see that my splat, which is the blue, is mixed into these rings, where my noise, which is the brown, is mixed in over here. Now, the splat texture, I'm going to make like a rust color. That should work. And we'll bump up the iterations a little bit, knock the size up a little bit. And now if I render it, my splat is mixed in there. I'm going to jump back up to the very top. Well, I forgot to, I want to grab these. I'm going to grab the noise. I'm going to make that a copy. And I'm going to grab the splat. I'm going to make that a copy. Go back over here. So here's the two pieces that are mixed together in my marble texture. And now, I'm going to hop back out here to diffuse color. I'm going to drag this down to my bump channel. Make that a copy. Oops, wrong one. Swap those two. I missed it. And we'll render that. Now I've got a bump in there, although it's not very, very bumpy. There we go. A little bit better. And I'm going to take this one here, and I'm going to drag this down to the specular color, no, specular level, make a copy. I don't want that to be these colors. I want this to be just white and black, so I'm going to change this back to white and black. There we go. And if I render this, I'm getting a splotchy, kind of bumpy, splatty thing happening here. And that's because I've got all sorts of procedurals mixed together on one texture. And that's how you can mix those procedurals together to get different effects. Play with that a little bit because you can make really complicated metal materials, glass materials with procedurals. Now, they won't go out to games for the most part, but they, uh, they can make your tank scene look a little bit better, and it's not a bad idea to get to know the material editor in and out, and you'd have to know procedurals to do that.